Welcome to the Austin Physio YouTube channel. Today is day one of the free day flexibility challenge. What is the free day flexibility challenge all about? The idea of this specific challenge is to teach you how to move and stretch through your body in a slow and controlled way. Each day we're going to be advancing on the full range of motion and the flexibility routine that you will be doing, enabling you to feel more mobile, more flexible and less tense. So to start on day one, we want to sit in a lovely relaxed position. Shoulders drop back, legs in a cross position. We're going to start with neck mobility. So keeping the neck in a nice neutral position, we want to gently start to turn the neck right and left. This is not only a good starting point to see how flexible you feel through this area, but it's getting you to start to integrate the normal range of motion through this part of the body. Good. So lovely, slow and controlled. If it's painful and sore to here, you just want to reduce the range of motion. Good. And then dropping the chin down and then looking up. So we're aiming for about five to ten reps in each vector. Good. Lovely. We then want to do a basic stretch for the upper fibres of your trapezius muscle. This is a common area of tightness with neck restriction. You want to clasp the hands, place them behind the back of the head like this. And we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, drop the chin down towards your chest and just exaggerate that stretch. Okay, we're going to aim to hold this just to start off with for about 10 seconds. Good, just once through and then relaxing down. Next, we want to move on to mobility through the shoulder girdle. A lot of us suffer through tightness and pain through this area, so it's good to start off in a very low impact, reduced range of motion. So keeping your hands on your knees, you're going to gently rotate and produce circles through the shoulders. So you're gently moving the shoulders backwards. So you might feel this kind of crunching and clicking a little bit, but this is just starting to get that range of motion through. Aiming for about five to 10 reps in one direction and then moving the opposite way. So again, just gently starting to rotate the shoulders forward. Good, and then we want to take it into a basic stretch of the shoulder, in particular the posterior deltoid and your rhomboid muscles between the shoulder blade and the spine. So gently taking the arm across the body, hooking underneath the elbow and gently pulling it across the chest. Aim to hold this for just starting off for 10 seconds. Good, and then relaxing, changing sides so very gently holding this position and very slowly adding the stretch. Good, so a very basic stretch through the shoulder to start off with. Holding for 10 seconds. Good. And then relaxing there. Next we want to move on to basic and simple movement through the spine. So we want to start with just side to side movement. So this is looking at that side bending motion. So we will add this on as we go through the three days. But we want to start to gently open through the ribs and gently open through the spine. So very slowly going one way and then slowly over to the opposite side. Aiming for about 5 to 10 reps on each side. Good. And then crossing the arms over, we're going to gently add a rotation. So again, aiming between 5 to 10 reps in each direction. there. To target a beginner stretch through the lower back, it's really nice to start in a supine position, so lying on your back. What we want to do for day one, so keeping it really, really simple, is just a one-sided knee hug, because we'll build up to two-sided more advanced stretches later, but you want to gently pull the knee towards your chest, holding for about five to ten seconds and then gently relaxing back. What you might find initially is your range 
takes you to about here. So you don't want to force it towards the chest until you feel comfortable. So you could just literally hold it here. If you do feel like you've got a little bit more flexibility, you can grip around the knee and then gently pull it towards your chest, holding for about 10 seconds. So again, we want it to be all within a pain-free range, feeling nice and comfortable. The idea is over these three days is to build up your flexibility, not to force it through a stretch or a range of motion. So lovely and slow. And then gently relaxing back down. We're then going to move on to the hips in this position. It's the last part of the beginner mobility and stretch series of day one. So we want to bring the leg up and just start with very, very tiny circles in this area. If your hips are feeling particularly stiff or quite restricted, what you can do is hold over the knee and just use your arm to guide that motion. So if you feel like you need a bit of support, you can add that. Or if you feel comfortable, hands resting down by your side. And very slowly, 10 reps one way, and then gently going back the other way. So again, really nice, slow, controlled through the hips. Good. And then like we said, repeating on the opposite side as well. So again, one way. So again, you can use that hand to guide if that feels a bit more comfortable. Good. And then if you feel like it's okay, hands down by your side and you can build up the range. Good. And then finally, similar to the one-sided knee hug, if you bring the leg up but slightly out to an angle, you're stretching through the hips and targeting your SI joint, so the joint around the back of the pelvis a bit more specifically. So again, you can start to bring the leg out slightly. Holding for about 10 seconds, so no longer. Good. And again with this, if you feel like to there is enough, that's absolutely fine. Just building the stretch as you go. Good, and back down, and same on the other side. So you see how as you're bringing it up, how you did with the knee hug, but turning it slightly and pulling it out to target more the SIJ and stretching through that hip. Good, and hold in there. Lovely, so again, aim for 10 seconds, and then relaxing.